So first we will explain the definitions of acids and bases. The definition of an acid is an ionic compound that breaks apart in water, creating a hydrogen ion. A base is also an ionic compound that breaks apart in water, but bases remove hydrogen ions, sometimes also creating a hydroxide ion. When an acid and a base react, they form two things, water and a salt. Remember that when we say salt in chemistry, we're not talking about table salt necessarily. We're talking about any ionic compound, which could include table salt. So for example, let's combine hydrochloric acid, an acid obviously, and sodium hydroxide, a base. We are adding the sodium hydroxide slowly into the acid, and we've used indicator to determine when they neutralize. As a result, we got water and table salt, or sodium chloride. We then boiled off the water to see the salt. When talking about chemical reactions, there is a very big topic that comes up, equilibrium. Equilibrium can best be explained as when the forward reaction happens at the same rate as the reverse reaction, making the products and reactants stop changing. All reactions will eventually reach equilibrium. The only exceptions is if the system isn't closed. If the system is open, it is possible that the reaction will never reach equilibrium since compounds can leave the system and come into the system. In 1884, Le Chatelier's principle was proposed. Le Chatelier's principle is what happens to the system when it is forced out of equilibrium. There are three ways to take a system out of equilibrium, changing the temperature, pressure, or the concentration of the compounds. When you take a system out of equilibrium, it tries to get back to equilibrium since that is a desired state. Let's say you add more of the reactants. At first, the equilibrium moves to the left, but what the system will do is it will start reacting the reactants and creating products until it is balanced out again. If you increase the pressure, the system will react in a way that creates less molecules and therefore lowering the pressure of the system. If you decrease the temperature, the reaction will heat itself up to regain equilibrium. Huge unnatural amounts of carbon dioxide are emitted into the atmosphere by cars, factories, and other man-made fuel-burning sources. This fairly recent and sudden mass release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere is negatively affecting sea life. The carbon dioxide finds its way from the atmosphere into the ocean. When the carbon dioxide meets the water, it reacts and forms carbonic acid. Each molecule of carbonic acid then releases two hydrogen ions, which increases the acidity of the water and in turn dissolves the calcium carbonate of shells and exoskeletons of sea creatures. Zooplankton have very thin exoskeletons, and the increased acidity of the ocean threatens to react with the calcium carbonate in their shells. Zooplankton are the base of the oceanic food chain, and without them, the food chain would collapse, affecting the vast majority of marine species.